War rages across the mortal realms. New alliances are formed while others lie shattered, and the dominant powers ever seek their next conquest. As these two powerful forces prepare to clash, only one will rise victorious when the dust settles. While this and countless other battles rage on, one fact is becoming clear. The season of war has begun. This video is brought to you by the support of our channel members and the FLGS partners, Warfire Minis and X-Planet. Hello and welcome to Season of War! Tonight we are excited to bring you guys another game of Age of Sigmar. Mike, happy to have you back on the channel. Thanks for having me. With a shiny new army. Yes. Yep. Bringing out the Karajan Overlords. Yeah. Yep. Newly painted, so. Yeah. Uh, well, painted it, it all in a good old two weeks. Nice. Good. Nice. Yeah, we're just getting ready for Grand Clash next weekend uh, up in Quebec. Our best and biggest GT in Canada, so super excited for that. You got this army freshly painted up for it, mm -hmm. so excited to see it on the table. Uh, there's been lots of requests for more KO, so I'm sure everybody will be excited for that as well. Yeah, well this one's also a little different. It's more combat focused, so hopefully we can uh, see KO hit stuff with hammers and yep. spears and buzz yep. saws and yeah, good we'll, fun. We'll find out. Um, matching up against them tonight, uh, our members chose for me to play Sylvaneth, and I'm playing Dreadwood uh, again, trying out you know, the spites, and a few different pieces. Dirth is a staple. Uh, Dreitcha, I haven't really ran much. I'm not going to get into this. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm playing something else tonight. Um, <laughs> the mission we're playing is in the presence of idols. So we got three objectives across the center. Um, it's hold one, hold two, hold more scoring. We're each going to have to nominate three yes. um, predators or idols. And uh, if we kill an idol with an idol, we get a bonus point. And then our idols have an aura of having battle shock. Yes. Uh, casualties. But that's the mission. Now we can get into lists. Mike, do you want to take us through yours? Yes, yeah, so I'm playing Berg Zahn. Uh, so it's uh, plus one to hit and wound with Skyfarers when you charge. Yep. Um, I got a boat here, a little one, with uh, the compartment for the extra six, with uh, six riggers inside. So that's like a good charging unit there. Mm -hmm. um, I got the frigate with uh, six characters inside. So this is the fun one. Two engine masters with harnesses, one with a dirigible suit. Um, two admirals with uh, both with five up wards because KO have their one and then yeah. you can take Griff Feather. And then I have um, a little navigator there with the auto unbind. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much the auto unbind is going to come in here. Maybe stop a spite swarm high. Yeah, it could, but, be, it could be big. Um, for the most part, it's you need it against more caster heavy armies and stuff like that yeah. where you can shut down, say, a purple sun or shut down a searing white light. Tech list, yeah. <laughs> for one turn. You get, yes. you get, you get one turn. Yep. Um, and then I got. Um, Dirgeable Suit guy has Stubborn as a Rhinox, which is really nice as KO, because you can drop on an objective and then you just throw this one little guy out or he jumps out of the yeah. boat and goes over there and you just take it. Objective. Yeah, very handy when you're low model count to begin yes. with. Yes. Um, and then I got three more little riggers over here and then just one basic uh, gun hauler. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then the, the other six guys are in the big boat yes they're in the big boat um the all the the balloon boys are all in uh, sharpshooter battalion okay so let's yep. take out those little gcs all right then uh facing off against them again i am playing sylvaneth dreadwood as i already mentioned <laughs> um i got a 15 pack of spite revenants here because they're kind of the main reason to go dreadwood they can pack a punch um and are one of like for the damage output they can do are one of our cheapest most cost effective hammers um, so double reinforced here because they're battle line. And then I have two units of tree revenants for some tele teleporting screening, all that fun stuff. And then I have, uh, as my hero loadout, I have Dreitcha. Again, I uh, mentioned it, I think first time I've run her with this new battle tome. I loved her in the old one. I've seen a lot of people having success, so I'm giving her another try, but the, the reduction to 12 inch range on her shooting really hurt my soul. Is she a monster still? Oh, uh, yep, yep, there, still monster. There you go, so, that's good enough. Yep, good enough reason to take at that. At that awkward 10 wound spot, though. Yeah. Um, oh, once you're a monster, I, I don't think it matters. Yeah, so hopefully she's going to be doing some work today. I do have Durthu as well um, with the Greenwood Gladius. Um, so extra attacks, hopefully he can hit some stuff pretty hard. Uh, we saw him in, in the last Sylvaneth game do a lot of work, basically solo uh, Daughters of Cain Army, it feels like. Him in the war song. Um, <laughs> 
but then uh, no war song tonight. I do have an Arch Revenant though, and he's my general. He's got War Singer for the plus three move aura, which is very helpful when you're slow. And also the plus one to wound bubble uh, really benefits my six pack of Kuroth Hunters with bows. So it's actually giving me a bit of a range threat here. Um, her, them and Dreicha, Dorothy has a little shooting too. So the six pack, I haven't run it for a little bit. It, it can be hit or miss, it's only one rend, but they can, they have the potential to pack a punch. Yeah. Then uh, rounding things out, I just have a unit of three of the Spite Riders. Um, good little aggro MSU kind of skirmishy unit. Uh, we also have to pick our idols before yes, we sir. forget. I was about to forget, so I just remembered, yeah. reminded myself. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, two big units of balloon guys, and I'm probably gonna go with uh, the forget itself. Makes sense. I'll go with uh, Durthu, my Sitch Turnoth, and then the Spite Revenants here. So those will be my three idols. Um, I was five drops here, Mike, to your 12. 12, <laughs> uh, a lot. So it's gave me choice, and I am just so graciously going to give you first turn here. Oh, I feel so blessed. Yes, no surprise, but uh, with that, we can jump into a KO turn one. All right. Catalyzing their foe from afar, the Caradron Overlord's battle tactic is desecrate their lands. The Admiral fails her leadership while the Arch Revenant succeeds. The Navigator reads the winds on the frigate and gun hauler, and the other gun hauler flies high. The gun hauler shoots at the tree revenants, dealing four damage. Also targeting the tree revenants, three riggers deal one wound, and the six riggers finish them off. Firing from afar, the frigate deals three damage to the other unit of tree revenants. The last gun hauler shoots, but deals no damage. Holding steady as they test their foe, the Caradron complete their battle tactic and score five points. All right, so not the most eventful turn, but I know, you know, when you get forced into going first, yep. you've, you've also deployed back. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see where stuff is moving at this point. Um, so I figured I'll just kill some true revenants. Um, the last thing I need is a little true revenants going around, grabbing objectives and being annoying. Yes. So I ended up uh, teleporting the boat over here. Um, I fired at those guys. They were almost dead. Um, I didn't want to risk it, so I, I did pop the Triumph there I had just to make sure that the, the riggers inside the boat could yeah, finish them off. Because it's just one little guy with his way pipes can be wounding, super annoying. Wounding at fours is a liability, so yes. um, cannons on the little gun hauler missed, and the big one uh, got one hit in and then did a whopping like two, three damage. Yeah. <laughs> the worst roll. I would have ro loved to have rolled the uh, like a two on the D3, and that way I could have picked up two guys. Yes. Um, well, for the most part, I'm still playing back, and it's just I didn't want to come over here and commit. I po potentially could have teleported the boat, done my 3D6 charge, and killed some stuff, but then I'm just a sitting duck, and then and I get And you're doubled. getting the full brunt of my whole army at you. And then you could potentially double turn me. So. Just stand back, yep. biding my time, and gonna go from there. And we'll uh, we'll see what Jordan does on his turn. Yes, sir. And yeah, with that, we can jump into Sylvaneth turn one. Bringing into action, the Sylvaneth battle tactic is master the spirit's path. The Arch Revenant fails to rogue leadership while the Admiral succeeds. Dreicha casts the Spite Swarm Hive, which grants vital venoms to the Spite Revenants. The Endrin Riggers redeploy, moving six inches. Dreicha and the Spite Revenants both walk the hidden paths thanks to malicious tormentors. The Ironclad repositions thanks to the cunning Fleetmaster. The Kurnoff target the frigate, but deal just two damage.
Deutsche unleashes her Twitter furies and takes down a gun hauler. The Riggers unleash hell on the Spite Riders, dealing two damage. The Sprite Riders take down the Endron Riggers and use Strike and Fade. Trying to outmaneuver the Dwarden, the Sylvaneth complete their battle tactic and score three points. All right, so that's turn one. Not everything obviously going to plan here, but all that considered, um, it wasn't the worst turn. I wanted to do use a couple of my tricks actually here. Uh, I did use one of them to double teleport a unit or two units. Uh, Dreitcha and Dorothy finish off the Dun Holler before I had a chance to yeah, charge it. Yeah, you did too much damage. Yeah, because I was gonna, I was thinking I would teleport then my treat, my sort of my spite revenants back, and Again, the ones per game to, to strike and fade with both units to bring my um, spites over here to benefit from spite swarm hive again in the case of winning priority. Um, but I just did it with my bugs who thankfully made their long charge after your big redeploy. And they rolled that box cards. Yeah, it was beautiful. And they struck and faded, not necessarily to safety, but trying to protect the rest of my army. Um, so that shooting out was awesome. Turn off, not so hot. To be fair, shooting at your frigate. You shouldn't have something just yeah. a two up save, you know, yeah. like three up saves, like yeah, you need to make them roll like 20 saves in order to attack Exactly, can't damage. expect too much. Um, and again, Dun Hauler went down easy. The the spites, I was like debating between putting given the vital venoms to them or Durthu. I chose them just because I want to showcase how <laughs> punchy they can be. Didn't get a chance to. I, even if it was Durthu, so, I wouldn't think it would have mattered at that point after. Yeah. Because I moved oh, no. I moved the boat over onto the center objective. No, it wouldn't have changed anything here. But um, yeah, that's where we're sitting right now. And uh, first, for, I guess, not first blood, you already killed some tree yeah. revenants. But I took down a boat. So yeah. I'm happy with that. And three raiders, so yeah. um, not nothing. It's a little, a little piece of your army, but you have a lot of your power still left on the yes. table. It doesn't look like much, but those two boats I are know. like... It's just chocked full of dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just clown carring it up. Um, but we'll jump into round two priority. All right, let's see if the party people are here yeah. with me. A four. That's a three, so... They are with it. me. <laughs> All right. Mike, I assume we're jump, gonna jump into KO? Yes, obviously. Okay. I, need to move, I need to move over to this side of the table yeah. now. <laughs> Fair enough, we'll jump into <laughs> KO. Turn two. Down a skyship, but eager to respond, the Caradron battle tactic is cunning maneuver. The Admiral and Arch Revenant both use heroic leadership, and Dreitcha dispels the Spite Swarm. The Endron Master with Dirigible uses Prosecute Wars with all haste to run 2d6. The Gun Hauler uses Fly High to reposition. The frigate opens fire on the Kurnoth, but deals no damage. Also firing, the Gun Hauler, Navigator, and Sky Wardens deal a combined four damage. Finding more success penetrating their bark, the Riggers deal eight more damage to the Kurnoth. The frigate uses There's No Reward Without Risk and Forward to Victory, but fails its charge, as does the Gun Hauler. Weathering the munitions, the Kurnoth Hunters use Inspiring Presence. While unable to close with their target, the Caradron complete their battle tactic and score five points. All right, so KO turn two, um, not ideal. Um, I was hoping to get some charges in there. Um, based on the ranges, I didn't get any of the, I was hoping to get like one of the pushes for the, um, oh, the move for the, the bolts. Act. Yeah, because then I would have been able to push the the gun hauler closer, and it would have helped my plan. Mm -hmm. My my plan was trying to force all the guys in there because if I can get the gun hauler into the um, Kurnoth hunters as well as the frigate, mm -hmm. 
all my guys jump out and just start beating smashing, up and smashing yeah, current yeah. off hunters. Um, I'm not in the best position for to take a hit right now. So I was hoping to at least get the frigate in because I could then hop out with everyone. Yeah. Um, I rolled the three to six charge. I rolled triple ones and then re rolled it to a 10. Yeah. Um, so. And we're looking for a bit, a 12 here. Yes. And like you were saying with, with the navigator, if you had got the movement. If I got the push, I would have You could have been at nine with him. Yeah. As opposed to me having to be 12 inches yeah. away to make it all work. So it, it, it's not the best, but I mean, I was able to get out of the boat, use my 2d6 run per yeah. turn. I rolled the 11, so the little uh, dirigible guy flew yeah. to the other side, which is great, and um, got me cunning maneuver. Um, so I still have a few um, a, like like plays. It's yeah. just, we'll see what happens. Um, if it's not in the best position, especially if I get doubled at this point. So we'll... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard for me to close with you, I think, yeah. this turn, uh, unless I make some lucky nine inch charges. But you yeah. never know. Um, so yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, right. you stored big, and that just leads us into Sylvaneth turn two. Catching the Duarden out of position, the Sylvaneth battle tactic is desecrate their lands. The Arch Revenant fails for leadership while the Admiral succeeds. Drychik casts the Spite Swarm Hive, but is auto-dispelled by the Navigator's Void Stone Orb. The Frigate redeploys, moving one inch. The Spirit of Durthu deals no damage, while the Kurnoff deal three to the Frigate. Durthu uses four to victory, but fails his charge, as does the Spite Revenants. Nobody wants to fight, eh? Despite failing to catch the Sky Ships, the Sylvaneth complete their battle tactic and score five points. Sylvaneth turn two. I, I've got to match the chaos sentiment and say I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> um, similarly, did a bit of damage in shooting, not an insane amount, and then didn't make my charges. I was fishing for nines. I hope to make one out of the, the three with rolled, a rolled what, two eights? Yeah, <laughs> so not close, but not quite there. I was able to auto unbind the spites for him. And that, yeah, uh, that's, and, and uh, that's the big one. I knew that was coming. Um, you were within 30, so nothing I could do there, but that's gone. So with priority, I could potentially take it. Now, um, I teleported my spites over there. It didn't end up really being a point to doing that. I, I didn't even need to take the objective, not to mention your guy's worth 10. Yeah. And it's like, sure, I maybe keep him there, but he can also just go and kill them pretty easily. It does keep him there though, is, yes. is the thing, yeah. because now he's forced to be there. Yeah. Um, so if I move him off You that, lose it, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'd have to move him over here. Yeah. Essentially, which he could yeah. so, do, but it's still- uh, Force you to take, think about it. Yeah. But um, I'm not really too strong on the objectives right now, any of them, but that's the thing. If you want to come fight me, it's not on the objectives. And yeah, so we'll see. Um, just, I got a little shooting damage out, but not enough. And I, I didn't want to shoot at the gun hauler because we saw yeah. how squishy they are relatively. If I was to take it out, you would have even dropped your guys out, you know, three inches at the back. Yeah. And it would have been 12 inch charges that- Yeah, I and, uh, and Durthu would have a horrible time charging because yeah. you'd have to charge around. Yeah, so it right. wasn't going to happen, but that sets us up for us. Well, we're close quarters now All right. um, for priority. So, a one. That's a one. Double one. Oh. So you and ties. I'm taking it. Yes, no surprise. <laughs> I um, don't. I don't need to. Um, just, just. We need the same success rate of charges for you this turn, but mm -hmm. uh, we're a little too close for that. Hope we'll jump into KO turn three. Finding themselves in a target-rich environment, the Caradron battle tactic is blast them to smithereens. The Admiral uses heroic leadership while Durthu uses their finest hour.
the Embarked Riggers fire at and deal six damage to the tree revenants, then the Sky Wardens finish them off. The frigate fires its cannon but deals no damage. Pulling back to relative safety, the Caradron complete their battle tactic and score five points. All right, um, so not the most eventful turn, um, but you know, it's right now, I, it's a three objective game. So if I, my mobility and your mobility are really good, yours are limited to locations, mine could be pretty much anywhere. Yeah. So my thought process right now is just keep on cat and mousing. I have the lead, try to keep it. Yep. Um, I ran this little dirigible guy over here. He's being a bit of a sacrificial lamb right now. He's stubborn as a Rhinox, so he's taking that objective. Yep. Because no other champions there. Um, I made a little mistake here. Um, I should have actually charged, not shot. The, um, that last guy off? No, I shouldn't have shot any of them. I should have just charged in. Because the frigate does impact hits and I could get out with three units. And then on my next turn, I could just do mobilize the fleet to get back in. Jump into the boat for a battle tactic. Yes. And the guys inside would most definitely kill the, <laughs> the little guy. And then I could potentially also have charged the little boat. And you know, it gives me some more play. Yeah. Um, that being said, it's not the worst turn. Getting the priority is, was big for this one for me. Seems like that's been a, yeah. a little bit of a trend. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it would have given me potentially an opportunity to go in and start hitting some stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, you never know how things pan out. Dorothy used his finest hour, obviously didn't come up in the end. Yeah. I also forgot to use my navigator ability with us. That's on me again. So, it's a yeah. lot to learn. New oh, army, yeah. so. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah, I guess with that, we'll just jump into Sylvaneth turn three. Annoyed at their evasive foe, the Sylvaneth battle tactic is gaining momentum. The Arch Revenant uses Rogue Leadership, and the Endron Master uses their Finest Hour. Drycha casts Bite Swarm Hive, which grants Vital Venoms to the Spite Revenants. The Endron Master with Dirigible redeploys, moving 3 inches. The Kurnoth Hunters target the Sky Wardens and take one down. The Spite Revenants use Forward to Victory and make their charge. Then the Frigate unleashes Hell, but deals no damage. The Spite Revenants attack the Sky Wardens and take them out, then use Strike and Fade. Having been roared by Durthu, the Endron Master deals 6 damage to him, then is cut down by his Guardian Sword. Crippling the enemy forces, the Sylvaneth complete their battle tactic and score 5 points. Silver Death, turn three, we started to get a little more damage out. Uh, the Spite Revenants mainly finally getting to, to join the fight, uh, made their you know charge thanks in large part to Spite Storm Hive. Mm -hmm. And it was a debate between going for the Gun Hauler or the Sky Wardens, but I feel like the Sky Wardens are more damaged when you consider yeah. the combat. Uh, obviously they, they both shoot probably similarly, but, but the damage output. It's an interesting game of just slowly dismantling each other yes yeah like yeah n normally in games it's a lot more violent like turn one i think was probably the most killing that happened but yeah it's like kill a unit and then try to get points yeah so um and then i went for the battle tactic of gaining momentum yep. you the dirigible guy was being sacrificed and yeah he, if he survived those claw hits it was not mm. yeah it could have come down thankfully i got the roar off because he was finest houred it could have been dicey. I had the bugs there for like backup, 
but still. If you didn't get the roar off, like you got one yeah. sword in, and that probably would have been saved. Yes, with is that, the, yeah, the that would that would have been scary. Um, and I'm yeah, turn the turn off with bows again aren't really doing much here. You're you're high saves. I'm high saves. We're yeah. both like rend one shooting, so it's yeah. hard to punch through each other. But I actually the the stride wardens were one of your idols, so I'll get the bonus point. Yep. Uh, with the the spites, so that's going for me. Though Dirthu did take six damage, uh, getting hit first by the the dirigible suit mm -hmm. uh, gentleman. So he's starting to look a little uh, worse for wear. But we are into another priority roll. Important. All right, let's go. Turn four. A three. That's a six here. And, oh, well, all right, let's do it. We're going to jump into it go into Sylvanath. Turn four, no question about it. No, no. You sure? Eager to cement their victory, the Sylvanath battle tactic is cunning maneuver. Dorothy heroically recovers three wounds, and the Admiral uses heroic leadership. Dreitra has regrowth unbound, and Spite Swarm grants vital venoms to the Spite Revenants. The frigate redeploys, moving one inch. Ah, the classic one again. Always happens. The Colonel shoot at the frigate, dealing four damage. First to fight, the Spite Riders deal 4 damage to the Frigate, then strike and fade. The Spite Revenants attack next, dealing 9 damage to the Riggers. The Riggers deal 5 damage in retaliation, then use Inspiring Presence. Continuing to punish the Duarden, the Sylvaneth complete their battle tactic and score 5 points. Alright, um, Sylvaneth turn 4. Obviously, got excited, winning priority, and I think I made decent use of it. Almost, yeah, I feel like I could have maybe castled and just been more defensive, but wanted to try. You always want to go and deal yeah. the damage and, and hit the thing and try and close it out. Um, didn't really do great. I forgot the Spite Riders actually fought, uh, got strike first on the charge, yeah. so did the, the attacks in the wrong sequence. But they, we fixed it. Yeah, we fixed it. <laughs> Um, they did four damage to the gun hauler, took eight total this turn between that and my shooting, and then they struck, they faded yeah. away. And with your your uh, Sky Wardens being gone, they won't be healing as much as it has the no, previous no, no, turn. No, that's, that's the one that the healers. No, oh. That one, that, that's the 200 masters. Inside. Oh, that's the, oh, okay. Yeah, so that's still so, gonna so heal, so that one's still, still, gonna still heal. heal a flat six. Okay, so well, not, so still healing, <laughs> but it's trying to get the damage on it regardless. Uh, Durthu's trying to, not in the best position. He didn't make his charge. And yeah, that's all there is to say. The Spites went in, they made their charge. Um, where they were going, they weren't gonna be able to fade away. I had the confidence based on the last mm -hmm. interaction with the Stride Wardens of, of being able to, they took them out or finished them off. Uh, I, oh, I left two Raiders here. Um, so three wounds left in the unit, so and you inspire them, so I didn't finish them off, and they did some damage back, killed five, I lost another, only one in Battle Shock, mm -hmm. which was lucky. So, Spites are there, they're being annoying, and they're a threat, but you're gonna have a turn to, to yes. deal with them, so. So let's see if I can deal with them. <laughs> yeah, cool, sounds good. And yeah, with that, we can just go into KO turn four. All right. Resolute in their strategy, the Caradron battle tactic is stake a claim. The Admiral and Durthu both use heroic leadership. The gun hauler uses disengage to reposition. The frigate deals six mortals to Durthu along its bombing run. The gun hauler shoots at Durthu but deals no damage. The engine riggers deal two damage to Durthu, as does the frigate.
The frigate deals four mortals on impact to finish off Durthu, and all heroes disembark. All fighting at the start of the combat, the Admiral deals 9 damage to the Kurnoth, the first Endron Master deals 6, and the final Endron Master finishes them off. Swinging their etheric hammers, the Caradron complete their battle tactic and score 5 points. Alright, so very good turn for me. Yep. Um, I was able to disengage over here, shoot into dirt through a bit, mm -hmm. and then um, I shot dirt, moved over here, shot dirt through some more, and then charged Durthu, killed him in the impact hits. Yep, yep. And then all my guys jumped out of the boat. The and clown just, car has emptied. Yes, and just started beating up trees with stammers. Yep. So, Greywater Fastness would be happy and proud of this moment. So, I was able to do a stake of claim. Yeah. Which is a, a crazy one that even exists, but thank you, Rolls Riders. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it, this is a, a big turn for a priority. I think if I get this, I might be able to to seal the deal and do some like substantial yeah. damage. Lots, lots of damage coming out of those heroes in combat. Like a couple mm -hmm. attacks each at three or two damage, or what is yeah. mostly three. So yeah, real spicy. Um, but as you say, a big priority. I believe in the party people. So let's see what, uh, okay. what we can do. Let's do it. A four. That's a three, so you got it. I'm gonna take it. All right, so we'll jump into KO turn five. Satisfied with the engagement, the Caradron battle tactic has mobilized the fleet. The Admiral fails for both leadership and Dreitcha uses their finest hour. The gun hauler flies high to withdraw to safety. The Caradron heroes embark on the frigate, which then moves and uses combat landing so they can disembark. Giving a masterclass in hit and run tactics, the Caradron complete their battle tactic and score five points. So this was a super interesting turn of get back it in the boat strategic. and run away. We got what we needed, yep. just go over here and go through the loot. They're just yep. looking through the bits of tree they collected. Um, so over here I got out of the, the gun hauler Moved my little guys over here to get yeah, in the territory. Yeah. yeah, the whole intention with this is just to be as many units as I can have in this corner, my quadrant, and then put the boat in the corner so the boat doesn't die. Yeah. Um, that way I secure my battle tactic. I'm ahead by two points at this point. So if I can get my grand strategy and deny his, I win. If we tie, I win. Yeah. Um, I then moved the, got everyone in the boat, got me in my battle tactic, moved the boat, used combat landing to get out of the boat, and have a bunch of models or a bunch of units in my territory. Yes. So I have uh, six, uh, seven, eight units in my territory. Yeah. I um, don't, yeah, exactly. I'm not going to be able to deny it with all your heroes, yeah. or I'm not going to be able to get my grand strategy. Yeah. But, but so you got your, yeah, five points here. Um, and at that point, that takes us into my turn five, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't look at battle tactics, but even if there was one, even if I, let's say, scored five points here, like you say, you have a slight lead, um, and, and you're going to be done. You would be able to eye for an eye. That would yeah. be in a tournament. Well, you didn't even kill killed, anything this turn. I killed something last turn. No, it, it's, it's, oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's oh. on your turn. Because That's even worse. We sped through it, but regardless, yeah. whether whether or not there is an achievable battle tactic on my turn, I'll be able to watch on objectives, get hold three. Yeah. Even if I have, have a battle tactic and can score five points, I'm still going to be down those points. And then you scoring your grand strategy yeah. and denying mine is another three yeah. point swing. That's just going to pull ahead for KO and that was a, a big, it, it's, like, it's weird. It, this was, I, I was saying it like off camera, but this was like a really weird game. Maybe I've just been playing like too much slaves and other stuff well, that just smashes. But. It's, it's KO, but like the whole game I was playing shooting and running around and then all of a sudden I went full ogre mode, charge impact hits, mortal wounds for moving and then combat and then I ran away. Yeah, it feels like we never had huge engagements yeah. though, right? Like. There this, I think, was probably the biggest. Yeah, it's like and then my it spites were doing stuff, but it's still only like killing six models, 
killing mm -hmm. four mod. You know what I mean? It's not like game breaking yeah. stuff normally. I've only played a little bit of KO. I learned really quickly in my first game that it was like pick your battle every time yeah. and constantly. Um, luckily, I have enough like objective scoring capabilities to assist unit here. Yeah. Like when they get out, if I have all six heroes in it, which I didn't this time, but I can smash onto an objective and just push people off objectives. Yeah. Like counting is two plus the boat counting is oh, five. And all those heroes getting out can lay the herd. Yeah, the clown car gives me a lot of power in that sense. So if someone's just trying to cycle me, I can still push them back on it yeah. and say, no, 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 it's mine, right? Um, it. I like this list. It, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's very different. And yeah. this was a weird game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was very interesting though and great to see Again, a different KO build than, than kind of what we've had on the yeah. channel before. Um, a lot more of the Sky Wardens and stuff and, and, and Riggers. And yeah, just this was made for an interesting game. Mm -hmm. um, like that turn I pushed up with Durthu and the other stuff, it's like, and I had even mentioned at the time, it's like, I probably sh should castle and just play more conservatively here. But I really didn't think there was that much of a threat left in, in the army. Well, with one KO. of the issues was castling, I think is I still have that ability just to score so many tactics as long as I can get uh, yep. two objectives. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, so, but, but, but I, yeah, honestly, like- It's weird. <laughs> I, well, I thought here, your last, again, not, like the heroes, I couldn't really, I can't split attacks and deal with them as efficiently as another yes. unit, right? So Especially I felt- Especially with them all on three ups, when two of them have five up wards as yeah. well, so it's just- Exactly. I felt like this, like sending my spite revenants, the most valuable target was the Raiders, right? You didn't even, they weren't even, didn't do anything for you in the final mm -hmm. turns, right? Like you didn't need them at all, barely. I guess the Raiders might've done a couple damage in shooting, but um, realistically, I think that in hindsight, looking at this, it's like, I should have probably sent my Raiders into the frigate, try to take out the frigate, make all the heroes yes. pop out. Well, the, the scary thing is if you don't kill the frigate, it heals. Like, yeah. um, right now it has two damage on it. And the only reason why I had two damage on it is because I had to pull yeah. one engine master out. Otherwise it'd be full health Yeah. again. And and with that, it's a, you had healed eight wounds previously in the turn. So I had dealt 16 throughout the game. Yeah. But again, those spites, when it was on eight, eight wounds left or eight had eight wounds on it, the spites potentially would have been yeah. adding to that. Um, I just realistically, I, you know, at that point, it would have been great abandoning all those heroes on that objective and they can't yeah. push to the center like you did here. But um, obviously hindsight is twenty twenty. The Spites would have had a chance to do it, but that's still a lot of yeah. damage to push the through. The Spites on. are good against it because of the mortal wounds. Exactly. And, but, and volume, right? Yeah. And volume attacks are amazing. And They're underestimated, I find. For sure, for sure. and. One of the great things here I never got to utilize is the command ability called a battle with the Arch Revenant of also plus one attack. The Spites, I've been using all our attack, yeah. but I didn't really need it. It was mostly the yeah. mortals. Um, so that would be great just to generate another, yeah. you know, two and a half mortal wounds, right? Yeah, it will, the, other, the other thing is that's really nice about like, like that is it's, it's so much volume. You spike, you spike. Yes. Yeah, um, it's, it's I've, cool. I've played enough bone splitters with ice bone to know when you spike. It can be you, devastating. You spike, yeah. Yeah, but so. yeah, no, really, again, really interesting game here. This was definitely a different one from all the smashing and combat yeah. we've had lately, uh, but it was a great match and I'm sure you guys enjoyed that one. I, I honestly like <laughs> feel like I just did, don't know what happened and not even that like, like i don't know what happened either. it just it was just a, such an odd game to play um it feel, felt like there wasn't it was there wasn't like there were like combats and all that but just wasn't like mm -hmm. those big huge epic units no. smashing into each other it was just like yeah, it, it, shipping this, here and there and and then finishing things off and mm -hmm. yeah slowly it, it's a weird thing with this army i don't like it, it's strange to me and it's very different than what I'm used to playing because yeah. I'm used to playing like I've been playing my slaves to darkness on and just yeah. here I'm gonna put 15 chosen in the middle of the table and everyone's gonna be fighting right. Yeah. Um, this one's like I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna move back again and then hope you're not clo too close so I can move again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was really cool to see. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. But 
yeah, that about wraps it up, Mike. Thank you for the game, as always. No it was problem. a pleasure. Guys, hope you enjoyed that battle report as well. And no matter what, thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you soon in another video.